welcome back to biology class so can you give me a quick recap on what was taken in the last class we saw how digestion is complete in the small intestine and how nutrients are absorbed yes so we have completed small intestine and as you know the next part is the large intestine now can you tell me is there any digestion process taking place in large intestine no because digestion is completed in the small intestine yes exactly large intestine is shorter and wider than the small intestine it is 1.5 meters long as we said in the previous class after digestion the undigested waste material moves from the small intestine into the large intestine and there the absorption of water and some salts take place later this undigested waste material moves into the rectum and it stays there as semi solid feces and then it will be removed time to time this process is called egestion so now we have completed digestion in human beings let us see digestion process in grass eating animals look at the digestive system of a cattle its digestive system is unique because its stomach has four chambers which are rumen reticulum abomasum and omasum grass eating animals quickly swallow the grass and store it in a part of the stomach called rumen inside the rumen the food is partially digested and it is called cud later the cud returns to the mouth in small lumps and the animals chew it if you have observed cows buffaloes and other grass eating animals you might have seen that they are chewing continuously even when they are not eating they are actually chewing the cud that is coming from the rumen this process of chewing the cud is called rumination and such animals are called ruminants observe this picture to know the direction of how grass is being digested inside the cow grass is mainly made up of a carbohydrate called cellulose most of the animals including us cannot digest cellulose but in ruminants there is a sac like structure called cecum present in between the small intestine and the large intestine some bacteria are present in this cecum which helps in the digestion of cellulose but this bacteria is not present in humans now let us watch a video which will help us to understand digestion in grass eating animals unlike humans all grass eating animals have a special stomach with four chambers namely rumen reticulum omasum and abomasum let's see the process of digestion in grass eating animals the animals quickly swallow the grass and store it in rumen the first chamber of the stomach in the rumen the food gets partially digested the partially digested food is called cud the cud is pushed into the reticulum the second chamber of the stomach and from here it is sent back into the mouth for thorough chewing The process of chewing the cud is called rumination and animals which chew the cud are called ruminants the rechewed food is swallowed and sent into the omasum the third and the smallest chamber of the stomach to absorb excess water from the food in the omasum the food is broken down to even smaller pieces this is then sent to the last chamber abomasum which is also called the true stomach The digested food then goes into the small intestine where absorption of nutrients takes place. A large sac-like structure called cecum present between the small intestine and large intestine also contain bacteria that help in the digestion of cellulose, a carbohydrate that is present in grass. So, 
You now know why cattle keep chewing all the time.